Good week. How are you all? all right. Winding down towards the end of our distance learning. This week for May 25th through, let's see, the end of May. I believe it's May 30th. We are reading the article, Jordan or James, who is the best basketball player of all time? So for some of you that like basketball, it's be very interesting. For those of you that aren't familiar, these are two of the top rated players of all time. ESPN, the sports television channel, recently released a, document, a documentary called The Last Dance. It is about Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls' sixth championship season in 1998. It has restarted the debate about who is the greatest player of all time. Is it Michael Jordan or LeBron James? Some look at the number of National Basketball Association, also called the NBA Championships, each of the players has won. Jordan won six and James has won three. This is not the only measure of greatness though. If the number of championship rings settled the question, the greatest player of all time would be Bill Russell. In his 13 seasons in the NBA from 1956 to 1968, Russell led the Boston Celtics to an amazing 11 titles. Russell, however, is not generally considered the best or greatest player of all time. The six foot 10 inch, Center was a fabulous rebounder and incredible on defense. He was not a great player on offense, though. Superstars can do it all. The greatest of all time debate often settles on Jordan and James because of their all-around talents. The two superstars can do it all on the court. Take a look at the numbers. Jordan was a better scorer than James is. Jordan scored 30 Point 0.1 points per game. James averages 27.1 points per game. James is a better rebounder and playmaker than Jordan. James has averaged 7.4 rebounds a game and 7.4 assists. Jordan averaged 6.2 rebounds and 5.3 assists. James is an amazing passer. He has led his team in total assists in every season during his 17 years in the NBA. At 35 years old, James was leading the league with more than 10 assists a game when the coronavirus pandemic closed down the NBA. Rare skill. Basketball is a team game. James has the rare skill to make his teammates better. Sometimes fans think Jordan won those six NBA championships by himself. Scottie Pippen, Jordan's teammate for all those six titles helped a lot. For example, Pippen played well during the Bulls' first championship playoff in 1991. Pippen averaged 21.6 points, 8.9 rebounds, and 5.8 assists in the playoffs. Jordan took off the 1993-1994 season to play baseball. The Bulls team was still so good that Chicago won only two fewer games during the regular season. James, on the other hand, led the Cleveland Cavaliers to the NBA Finals in 2007 at the age of 22. His teammates were not as skilled as Scottie Pippen was. Having to pick between Jordan and James is not easy. It is like trying to choose between chocolate chip cookie dough and mocha chip ice cream. They are both great. But if I have to choose, I'll pick James and mocha chip. So after you listen to this a few times, then you'll go on to answer the questions for the quiz, which are, first is, what does the author want the reader to understand about LeBron James? A, he is a better scorer than Michael Jordan. B, he is a more effective teammate than Michael Jordan. C, he is a worse rebounder than Michael Jordan. Or D, he is a less effective teammate than Michael Jordan. So make sure you're paying attention to the question. What does the author want the reader to understand about LeBron James? Number two, read the section rare skill. Which sentence shows the author's point of view about the debate over the best basketball player of all time? Sometimes fan thinks Jordan won those six NBA championships by himself. The Bulls team was still so good that Chicago won only two fewer games during the regular season. C, his teammates were not as skilled as Scottie Pippen was, or D, having to pick between Jordan and James is not easy. So again, you're going to go back and read the part called rare skill. So this part right here, and then answer that number two. Number three, which kind of evidence does the author use to support the idea that LeBron James makes his teammate better? Okay, so we're looking for evidence the author uses to support that LeBron James makes his teammates better. 
A, average points per game, B, number of championships won, C, average assists per game, or D, number of seasons played. Number four, read the following paragraph from the introduction, paragraphs one through five. Russell, however, is not generally considered the greatest player of all time. The six foot 10 inch center was a fabulous rebounder and an incredible on defense. He was not a great player on offense though. How does this support the author's idea that championship wins are not the only measure of a player's greatness? A, it illustrates that Russell did not deserve to win as many championships as he did. B, it argues that Russell's championships were not as hard to win as Jordan's and James. C, it illustrates that championships, championship wins do not guarantee one player is significant better, significantly better than others, or D, it argues that a player's height is the single most important factor in their greatness. So make sure you answer those questions and read them carefully and then submit and fill out your article. So make sure you write 10 to 7 sentences and you can find this in our Google Classroom for the week. Thank you and I look forward to reading your answers.